nini serikali yenu na tunataka nini kuangalia hii serikali tena kuwa na roho ya kuangalia serikali hii watu wafana chafua chafua pande huu pande huu usikubali kwa watu kuchafua serikali na usikubali kwa serikali aende kando ikiwa kama unaona sisi tuko na kasro sema wasi hapana aye hapana ka kimi hii ni Luo Archive TV, televisheni inayoangazia siasa, uchumi na mila katika jamii la Luo hapa njini Kenya. Karibu tena mpendwa. Pia unaweza kutupata kwa mitandao ya jamii. Facebook ni Luo Archive TV. Instagram ni Luo Archive TV. Na Twitter ni Luo Archive TV. Tunarejea kwa muda usio kwa mrefu. It is fairly clear that there is pressure and desire that I should leave the government. The authority concerned has however showed reluctance to say so openly to the public. If I thought that there was the slightest chance of putting things right from within the government, then this desire to remove me from office would not worry me as indeed it has not done for the last one year. However, when I inchi, my honest opinion is that the present government has reached a point of no return. It can only do for the people the little that the underground master allows it to do. Its guiding star has become personal gain. I therefore find it impossible to be part of it, and my decision is that from now on I should be free to join with Wanainchi in demanding that their voice be heard. Ogingo Dinga was born in Bondo, Sire County in October 1911. He later renounced his Christian names and became known as Ogingo Odinga. He was a student of Masaino School and Alliance High School. He went to Mekoe University in 1940, and returned to Maseno High School as a teacher. Jaramogi was a Luo chieftain who became a prominent figure in Kenya's struggle for independence. He later served as Kenya's first vice president, and thereafter as opposition leader. Odinga's son Ryle Odinga is the former prime minister, and another son, Aburu Odinga, is a former assistant minister in the Ministry of Finance and currently the senator for Sire County. Jaramogi is credited for the phrase Not Yet Uhuru which is the title of his autobiography published in 1967. In 1957 and became the political spokesman of the Luo. The same year, he was elected member of the Legislative Council for the Central Nyanza constituency, and in 1958 he joined the Kenya African Union, KAU. He was amongst the founders of the Kenya Independence Movement in 1959, and in 1960, Together with Tom Mboya he joined Kenya African National Union, KANU. Let's now have a look at what happened at Jaramogi's funeral. Pole Jaramogi Pole Pole Pabodinga Pole During the burial of Jaramogi Ogingo Odinga, an estimated 300,000 people gathered. Charged mourners carrying twigs escorted the hearse on foot for 33 kilometers. In 1994, it rained tears in Yamira Ka Jaramogi. The only thing missing was a 21 gun salute. But everyone came. President Daniel Moe came. Democratic Party leader Mwai Kabaki came, acting Ford Kenya chief Wamal Wakijana came, a youth Fluhuru Kenyatta came. Foreign envoys, 
religious leaders, rowdy university students, the small, the mighty and the powerful, all came to Nyamira Bondo. The day was Saturday February 5, 1994 when over one million people, friends and foes, gathered. It was not a funeral, but a festival, a celebration, a grand occasion where poetic dirges, incendiary speeches, historical and political wars and church and religion melted into a tapestry of the life and times of a political colossus whose voice and courage was never dimmed by detention. It was not a state burial, but the national flag flapped at half-mast. Jaramogi's casket, imported from the United Kingdom, was made from wood hewed out of a 145-year-old tree. A hundred bulls were slaughtered. The body was transported by road in a convoy of more than 300 cars. Charged mourners carrying twigs escorted the hearse on foot for 33 kilometers from Awasi. At exactly 3 p.m., Jaramogi Ogingwa Dinga was laid to rest, 10 meters from his own home, but not before James Arengo, his voice cracking with emotion, paraphrased William Shakespeare's Mark Antony, saying, I come here to bury Odinga, not to praise him. I can say that my heart is in the coffin there with Odinga and I pause until it comes back to me. In that coffin lies a great man. Which stories do you want us to cover? Let us know. Luo Archives, keeping our history alive. Subscribe to Luo Archives TV so that we bring more hidden history.